UFC already has some amazing pay-per-views lined up for 2023, like UFC 283 and UFC 284, and even and fights that are being set up like Ngannou vs. Jones for 285. But today, as you can see in the thumbnail and the title, it's not a joke, alright? I've undertaken the task of making every single pay-per-view for 2023. Now, this is going to be a bit of a mix of what I think is going to happen and what I want to happen, okay? But this is a huge undertaking, so please subscribe, drop a like. All right, let's get the video around. You know what I'm saying? This was a big task, okay? So I'm going to start off January to December, every pay-per-view, starting off with UFC 283. We've got Glover Teixeira versus Jamal Hill. Already announced, already official, going to be a great pay-per-view card. And obviously, Brandon Moreno versus Figueredo number four is on there as well. I can't wait for Joe Rogan to be fucking up Brandon Moreno's ass the entire fight like he always is. But I digress. Great pay-per-view uh, to start the year. We're going to move on. I'm going to be quick with some of these early ones that are already announced. You know what I mean? Like, no one gives a fuck. UFC 284, we got Makusha versus Volkanovski. I'm praying that this fight stays together because the card is kind of falling apart a bit. Um, go check out my video about UFC 284. It should come up at the end or maybe it'll be... Um, on my channel, just go on my channel and look it up, UFC 284, it's a great video, um, we booked some great fights that have already been made, and uh, yeah, this is going to be an amazing main event, I'm really excited for this, in Australia too, let's go. We move on to UFC 285, Francis Ngannou versus John Jones, this fight has to happen, uh, everyone wants to see this, this has been a dream fight for about two years now, everyone wants to know what's going to happen, like it's the immovable object versus the unstoppable force, like... It really is an intriguing fight, and we don't get a lot of those nowadays. So that's what I'm hoping is the main event for 285. Okay, now we're getting into the unknown, all right? March, London, UFC 286. I'm going to say this is what the UFC will probably do, and what they probably should do. Over, I, I know I picked Bilal in my other video, but all things considered, let's do Kamaru. Oh, sorry. Leon Edwards. Uh, bro, don't cancel me. I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I swear. You'll understand why I said Kamaru later. Anyways, look. Leon Edwards versus Hamza Chumayev for the welterweight title in London. Crazy, crazy fight. I know people think Chumayev would win that fight. Me personally, I think he would as well. And we don't want to do that in front of the home crowd in London. But, you know, this is a big fight. This is a huge, huge deal. This is really going to pack that card. You can fit on, like, um, Max Holloway versus Arnold Allen as well. Because the chumayev Colby stuff is seeming to, like, fizzle out. And we don't really know what's happening in the title fight. So, I feel like this is what you should do if you want to make the biggest fight possible. And Hamzat's probably a bit more deserving. Um, but even then, I don't know if he is. Like, he built, he beat Gilbert Burns and Lee Jing Yang. That's it. But, you know, everyone wants to see him fight for the belt. So, let's fucking do it, all right? We move on to April. This is where it gets a bit, like, speculatory, okay? There's a man that people think is coming back in April. I agree. And uh, there's one fight that everyone is talking about that the UFC is going to do. Even Dana White said it's going to happen. Me, personally, I wouldn't book this fight. But this is probably what's going to happen. UFC 287 in April. Conor McGregor, Michael Chandler, crazy, crazy fight, very entertaining, the fans will love it, the UFC will love it, especially if McGregor wins, and we'll go on later, what happens if McGregor wins this fight, I think McGregor has a decent chance in this fight, I don't know, I need to see it happen, but I think Conor has a decent chance, Chandler just gets hurt too much, gets dropped too often, and McGregor's going to be coming back, he's always very, very sharp in that first round, he doesn't have ring rust, so I think McGregor's going to be very sharp, he's going to be very big, especially if this is at welterweight, um, I feel like this should be a lightweight personally, but we'll have to see. So that's what I'm going to predict is UFC 287 is going to be McGregor versus Michael Chandler in April. On the co-main event, hold on, let me bring that up. On the co-main event, you can definitely put some stuff like Sean O'Malley versus Marab would be a great co-main event to that. I think Sean O'Malley could win that fight. Um, you know, get some of the Ian Gary on this card, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of good fights you could put on this card. So I think UFC 287 could take place in like a California or something, um, or maybe go back to Vegas, but I digress. All right, we're going to move on to UFC 288. I would put this overseas somewhere. I don't know if that's in China. I don't know if that's in Singapore. I don't know where that is. But I would say for UFC 288, let's do a big fight. Let's do Valentina Shevchenko versus Wei Li Zhang, okay? Uh, Wei Li is going to go for double champ status. The reason I do this instead of Wei Li versus Nama Yunus 3 is because of Nama Yunus's last grappling match. She lost to Jillian Robertson in about 65 seconds pretty rough loss and she's making all these excuses and she's saying you know i just wanted to see where i was at that doesn't sound like talk someone that wants to fight for the belt especially against someone like Li Zhang. so i think this is the fight that you make especially because tyler santos isn't getting a rematch and there's no real contender maybe aaron blanchfield will be the next contender or tyler will get a rematch at some point but i say just book this let's do it let's fucking do this bro and in the meantime amanda nunez can fight as well maybe we get shevchenko versus nunez at some point, but me personally, this is way more interesting to me. So, 
Sorry, excuse me. So UFC 288. Put this in like Singapore, you know what I'm saying? Let's get Magomed Ankalaev on the card. Let's get, you know, some some international stars. Let's get Li Jing Liang on this card as well. Um, let's stack this card out, kind of like the UFC 275 one, but a bit, a bit better of a card, okay? Let's get some good fights, you know what I'm saying? So I think this would be a great card. Maybe get Jack Della Maddalena versus Li Jing Liang on this card. That'd be a good fight. Um, and there's a lot of options if you do this in like Singapore or something. So UFC 288 in Singapore. Let's do Shevchenko versus Zhang. Double champ status on the line. Big fight. Big women's fight. Let's do it. All right. We move on. UFC 289. Now this is going to be in June. So the last one was in May. About the same time as the Singapore card last year. I'm kind of going off what happened. So this is in what? April, May, June. This is June. Okay. So I'm thinking that you can put this maybe in like a Houston, Texas pay-per-view let's get you know let's get like juliana pena versus irene aldana on this card but for the main event uh i'm gonna do glover to defending his chi his title against magomed ankalaev um you know headlining a fight maybe as the co-main event we can get uh brandon moreno versus pantoja we can get you know like i said juliana pena irene aldana that sounds like a good fight um you could, i'm sure you could get adrian yanez on here um, at some point against maybe like a Dominic Cruz or someone coming off a loss, maybe against Marlon Vera. That'd be a really tough fight for him, but, you know, that'd be a fun scrap. So maybe get Adrian Yanez on this card. Let's get Derek Lewis. Let's get Kevin Holland on this card as well. Let's do a Houston card headlined by Glover Teixeira versus Magomed Ankalaev and see who is going to face Yuri Prohaska when he comes back, which may or may not happen this year. I haven't put him on this list, by the way. I'm just going to be honest. Um... But if he's ready to come back, then maybe you do Teixeira versus Prohaska in Houston instead. Something like that. But in the meantime, I'm going to have Uncle Live here as a filler. All right? So UFC 289, Houston. We have a problem. Let's get Yanez. Let's get Holland. Let's get Lewis. You know what I'm saying? Let's get Brandon Moreno. Let's get Alexa Grasso in this card. Let's do this shit, all right? I move on to International Fight Week, UFC 290. This is going to take place in July. T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. A big, big card. We need title fights. So in the main event, uh, the biggest fight the UFC can probably make right now, uh, that isn't a McGregor fight, Alex Pereira versus Israel Adesanya, two international fight week as the main event in Las Vegas, co-main event, Volkanovski versus Yair Rodriguez for the featherweight title. Boom. All right. Let's get, you know, let's see if we can get Sean O'Malley on this card again, right? Probably not actually. Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. Excuse me. Get Paddy Pimblett on this card. You know what I'm saying? Let's get Ian Gary on this card. You know what I'm saying? Let's get all these these guys that you want to promote. Get them on this International Fight Week card. Let's build some big fights. You know what I'm saying? Let's get maybe uh, I don't know. You can think of you can think of fights that you want to see on this card. Let's get Drew Dober on the card. Let's get you know Terence McKinney on the card. Let's get all these these guys, young guys that we want to push. Let's make some exciting fights. International Fight Week headlined by Pereira versus Adesanya, and I would put Volkanovski defending his title as the co-main event as well. Um. That's my opinion. This is my opinion, brother. Okay, so International Fight Week. You're done. UFC 290. Pereira versus Adesanya. Let's do it. We're moving on to UFC 291. So this is August. Um, no, June, July, August. Yes, this is in August, okay? There's one man that I associate with the name August in the UFC right now. And if all goes to plan and he's coming off a win in his comeback, let's do UFC 291. Charles Oliveira versus Conor McGregor. They both want this fight. I think this is probably Conor McGregor's, this is a tough fight for him, let me get this straight, let me start off by saying this, don't kill me, Charles Oliveira would probably win this fight, however, I think out of Gaethje, Poirier, Islam, his best chance is to beat Oliveira out of those top guys at the top, you know what I'm saying, so that's all I'm saying, so this is a good fight, the UFC probably wants this, McGregor wants this, obviously. Oliveira has called out uh, McGregor a couple times. This would be a huge pay-per-view in August. Let's get it in, like, maybe Las Vegas again or California. Uh, something like that, you know. As an August main event, you can stack the undercard. You know, you can think of fights that you want to see on these fights. Let me know down below what, you, what, what you'd want to see on some of these cards if anything pops out and you go, Ooh, I got a fight idea for that. I think this should be a good fight. You know what I mean? Let me know down below, bro. I want to hear that shit. All right? But I'm just giving you the main event. So UFC 291, I think, should be Charles Oliveira versus Conor McGregor um, if he's to beat Michael Chandler. Okay? that's a, I feel like that's a good main event. I feel like people really want to see that. So let's do that UFC 291 in August. Okay? We move on to September, UFC 292. We are coming up 
to the Abu Dhabi card, okay? This is a big fight, okay? We're coming up towards Madison Square Garden, UFC 294, big fights. We need a big headliner, and I think that by this time, Kamaru Usman will be ready to come back. So if UFC 292 in September, let's do another thing like Salt Lake City or, you know, Florida or something like that. Let's do Hamza Chemaev, welterweight champion versus Kamaru Usman. Or if Leon wins, then let's do Edwards versus Usman trilogy in September. Perfect timeline. Perfect fight. Put this as the main event. You're done. You're done. You know what I'm saying? It's over. It ends for you. It's done. That's like, what else do I have to say? This is the perfect main event. Perfect timeline for Usman. Perfect comeback fight for the belt. He deserves that. He was a great champion. This is what you do, all right? Okay, maybe get Wonderboy on the card. Let's get, you know, some some other guys on this card. I don't know, bro. You know, let's get some good fight. Let's get RDA on the card. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some good fight. Let's do RDA versus Wonderboy. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want with these cards. You know what I mean? Whatever fights you want to see on these cards, let me know. But I'm saying UFC 292 in September. Perfect timeline. Let's do the winner of... Edward versus Chemaya versus Kamaru Usman. So potentially we get Chemaya versus Usman. I know the UFC wants this fight. People are intrigued by this. Or maybe we get Leon versus Usman, the trilogy. It's a perfect, perfect timeline. So that's what I think should happen in September. Maybe Salt Lake City, maybe Florida. Okay, we move on. Now we're at the big guns. The last three pay-per-views of the year. UFC 293 is likely to take place in Abu Dhabi in October. Okay. And there is one man that I want to headline this pay-per-view. You already know what it is, all right? Let's get Islam Makashev versus Benil Dariush in October in Abu Dhabi at Yaz Island. It makes perfect sense. Okay, they're on trajectory to fight each other. They were meant to fight each other already. Let's do it, bro. Let's fucking do it. In the meantime, let's give Dariush one more fight. Okay, if he has to fight Poirier, I know that's a tough matchup for him. If he can get past Poirier, then this makes perfect sense. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, I think the UFC has a very high likelihood of doing something like this in October. I'm sure they have a plan in place for Islam to fight in October in Abu Dhabi as the champion. So I think this would be a great opponent for him. And I think this would be a huge fight in Abu Dhabi. This would be a really big deal. And I think this would be a very good fight. And lastly, I'm going to say on this, before I move on to Madison Square Garden in November, you already know who I picked to win this shit, all right? Darius clears Islam, bro. Darius round one KO, bro. I'm sick of this shit, bro. All right? <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Fucking hell, relax. I can feel you typing. Anyways, listen. November, we need to think about what titles are free and who fits that Madison Square Garden. We need a big, big title fight, and I think I have the perfect fight to main event November in MSG. If all goes to plan, let's do Al Jermaine Sterling versus Sean O'Malley, Madison Square Garden main event. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, this is a perfect fucking main event for Madison Square Garden. This is a big fight. Imagine the press conference for this. You could get a sick undercard going as well. Like, you could have an amazing undercard for this. Like, all those New York guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, all these fighters that they want to push. Let's make a sick MSG card. Let's headline it with a bantamweight belt. Let's put these guys back in prestige. Let's get Sean O'Malley versus Aljamain Sterling main eventing a pay-per-view. It's time for O'Malley to become a superstar, mate. It's time for you to pull your weight and sell some pay-per-views. So, let's fucking do it, all right? I don't have much else to say. This is a good fight. Like, like, tell me this. These aren't all amazing pay-per-view headliners that you want to see, right? Like, this is how you do it, UFC. No more Diaz versus Chumayev, okay? None of that shit. No more Pena versus Nunes. This is how you. This is how you build a pay-per-view. This, this fight. I want to see this fight so bad in Madison Square Garden with a whole pay-per-view around it. Like, that's how you fucking do it. All right. So in November, this is what you do. Sean O'Malley, Aljamain Sterling. If Cejudo wins, Cejudo versus O'Malley. If there's already a built-in beef, like regardless of who wins. This fight needs to happen at Madison Square Garden. O'Malley versus the winner of Suhudo and Sterling. Okay? I digress. We move on to the final pay-per-view of 2023. December. Okay? It's probably going to be in Las Vegas or some shit like that. Um, it's usually very similar with the UFC. Probably in Vegas or California or Arizona or something. So my final, final pay-per-view headliner of the year. I don't want to give you any, like, you know, bullshit. You know? Paddy Pimblett co-main event. No, bro. We need a big fight to end the year. And I think timeline-wise, this is going to make perfect sense. In December, the final pay-per-view of 2023, we're going to do Alex Pereira defending his belt against Robert the Reaper Whitaker. It makes perfect sense timeline-wise. Whitaker's going to be fighting in April or March. I think he said March or April. I'm I'm assuming he's going to fight someone like maybe like Roman Delidze or 
I don't even know who he's going to fight. Maybe Pulo Costa gets rebooked with him or Cannoneer. They get they get him in there. He's going to get another win, right? Whoever it is. And then he's going to be lined up to have a training camp and finish the year fighting for the belt. And then he gets Christmas off. This makes perfect sense. Let's do this in December. Alex Pereira versus Robert Whitaker. The fight everybody's talking about, okay? You can get all types of fighters on this undercard. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do as the co-main event, I don't give a fuck. This is the main event that needs to happen in December. Alex Pereira versus Robert Whittaker before the end of the year. Must happen. Okay? So these are my pay-per-views for 2023. Let me know what you think down below. Again, this was a huge undertaking. So please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, bro. I, I do stuff like this all the time. I'm matchmaking. I might do every fight night of 2023 if enough people want that. Like, drop a like if you want, if you want that to happen. Um, if there's a lot of interest in this video, then I'll definitely do a fight nights of 2023. Or something like that. But I'm always doing matchmaking. I feel like that's what I'm the best matchmaker on YouTube. I really believe that. So if you agree, drop a like. Let me know what you think down below. Alright. I'll see you in the next one, boys.